Happy New Year, everybody. Oh. bought it for New Year's and the place I was supposed to go we wound up not going to do it and it's kind of tight it fits a little bit more snug than I wanted to but you know it is what it is Whew. my hair was curled cleaned up a little bit I got a vacuum a little bit um, yeah so I'm about to vacuum my room and I have some laundry I need to finish we got some guests coming over so yeah <laughs> that's <laughs> perfect <laughs> no don't believe that, that. <laughs> don't believe that. Don't believe that. <laughs> i'm serious <laughs> Okay, so I'm about to get ready for the day. It's snowing outside, so I don't know. I might have to move my car. We don't have a shovel. That's number one. And we don't have um indoor parking. And I, I got to get to work today. So I'm going to have to I'm gonna eat my breakfast, which is going to be apple and some water today. I really don't eat horrible like normally. Um... Like last night, I ate. I ate well yesterday in general. I ate like a um, chicken bacon ranch panini from the tropical smoothie place, and then I had a oatmeal last night before I went to bed, and that was like all the food that I ate. And now I'm about to have some water, and um, I'm actually craving water. The water from like the little Brita filter thing is so good like i don't know why it's so delicious but it is um so i'm about to have that and the apple um i have to write some contracts for um my gala that's supposed to be in april um try to see if i can figure out my school registration take a shower all of that and then go make some money you know, it's always a money making day somewhere. Every day for me. Okay, okay, because when you only got you, when you when you only got you, you know what I mean? You gotta make sure. That's still another video though. We'll talk about that in the video. Anyway, I'll see y'all later. Bye. Hey everybody, so I'm back. Um, I decided that, well, I already told y'all earlier, um, but I got home from work a little bit early today, so I'm doing this in my uniform, um, well, part of my uniform. But anyway, I wanted to go over what my goals for 2022 are, and in this way, Next year, I'll be able to reflect on this video um, and try to see, like, was I able to do what I said I wanted to do in 2022? And if not, what what caused me not to be able to do it? And, like, am I going to be able to, did anything change? You know, that type of stuff. So, first I'm going to go over 
over what um, my career goals are. Then I'm going to go over the degrees that I want to get this year, certificates I want to get this year, um, and then different things like that. Like I told y'all already, I'm not trying, I'm not doing the whole fitness journey thing. I do want to get back to my ideal weight for PRT purposes. But other than that, like, I'm not really focused on the fitness portion this year. I just don't want to blow up. Um, so my career goals, right? Um, I have eight things that overall I want to do. I know that sounds like a lot of stuff, but a lot of that is going to be encompassed into eventually into me being able to be at one place and have different departments. You know, it's a part of the empire that I want to build. So that's that. So I have my accessory business that this year... I want to revamp and I want to design my first bag. So I actually did draw out my the bag that I want to get produced um, last year. I'm going to go through and do different sketches of it and try to make it as unique as possible as I can to me. And then I'm also revamping the, the brand in general. So I have to go through and do little tweaks and stuff here and there, licensing stuff, copyright and stuff, things like that. Then I put for my clothing line, um, I want to design my first collection. So if I want my first collection to be five, probably five to seven pieces, maybe 10 pieces from the research and stuff that I've done, I need to do um, 10 drawings for each or 10 sketches on average for each um, item in the collection. So I got to etch out time to do that type of stuff and then for my beauty my holistic health and beauty line i didn't put anything for me to do this year for it and then for my youtube channel i put reach 2000 subscribers i think right now i'm currently at like 700 730 or something like that so i'm almost at a thousand it's hard getting there um i know i haven't been consistent with posting so that's a part of the problem also um, but I'm trying to change that. I'm trying to get into where I'm at least putting out one video a week. So I'm trying to record well in advance. So, because I know things are going to get very, very, very hectic for me within the next couple of weeks with school and everything. Um, yeah, so I know things are going to get a little bit hectic and then like, like, I'm literally not going to have any time to do anything with, like, between school, school, um, working, um, my working, and then my business stuff. Um, so, it's going to be difficult, but doable, I feel like, as long as I am, as long as I am able to get up early, like, I've been trying to, because... There's so much time in the day, but also so little time in the day. And then, like, when I'm at work, I want to be focused on being able to actually do what I'm supposed to be working on at that moment. But I do work in an office, so I have a little bit of leniency when it comes to certain things. Like, if I don't have patience and things like that, if I don't have anything that's dire at the moment to do, I have time where I could get on my laptop and maybe do an assignment or work on things like that. So, I do have a little bit of where I can push things in throughout the day to do them so there's that um and then so for my PR firm that I want to have right um so it's going to be a full service PR firm and when I say full service PR firm I mean I don't want to just have to I don't want to just deal with the image of a brand because I want it to be like fashion entertainment PR that type of stuff I don't want to just deal with the image of the brand or the person I want to be able to deal with everything that encompasses that right so I want to have a law department within I look cross-eyed but I think it's because the camera I'm not cross-eyed y'all but it's because the camera is like over here and I'm looking at the screen yeah so that's why I look like that yeah see um even if I was cross-eyed there's nothing with being cross-eyed I'm just not cross-eyed um 
Yeah, so I wanted to encompass everything from public relations to law. And then within that, I'm also going to have like represent my brand as well. So that's why I say like, it seems like I want to do a lot of stuff, but really I'll be able to put all of the things that I'm doing under that one umbrella eventually. So right now they're separate, but soon, you know, soon enough they won't be once I have my own, my own, um, my own brand, my own empire. Yes. Um, so for my PR firm this year, my goal is to, um, successfully do my gala um it's so much more harder than i thought it was gonna be like getting sponsors getting uh people to attend like i didn't think it was gonna be that difficult i didn't think it was gonna be as difficult as it is but you know obviously i was wrong um also i'll link a, um the ticket the uh, the ticket link in the description box um so you guys, if there's tickets left over by the time that this video goes out, you'll be able to go and purchase a ticket. So in-person tickets are 150 and that's to actually come to the gallon experience. You know, based off of what's going on with COVID and stuff, things might change, but hopefully not. Um, if you can't attend the gala, um, we also will be doing a virtual experience, which means that through the lens of the person that is carrying the camera um you'll be able to experience what's going on in the gallery and even have an opportunity to network i'm gonna figure out how to do how to figure that out um but you'll be able to get almost the same experience you're just not gonna be able to taste food you're not gonna be able to take pictures and different things like that but you can still you know you can still experience somewhat the what what the gala is gonna have to offer um also we're giving away 15 percent of the profits from the gala to one of the businesses in attendance and also um even if you get a virtual ticket you'll still be entered into win that prize as well so it's an investment in your business future and your future whatever you want to call it right um so that's the pr thing um also um amazing last franchise so what i put for my amazing last franchise for this year is to find investors and get funds to move forward so i'm not saying that by this year i want to have my franchise but by this year i need to have the funds in order to get my franchise so that by next year i could go into that process and be able to do that i already have like a list of people that are willing to invest and what i'm doing with those investments is profit share agreement so um i will be the owner of the franchise but those who invest in it will get three times back their profit um off of my first location anyway and then i'll open up the opportunity to those people who have invested with me before to go into partnerships for future stores um then i have my coffee shop that i want to open um I don't know if I mentioned this on any of the videos that I've done on this channel, but I used to work at Starbucks when I was 18, 18, 19 years old. And I actually loved working there. Um, but aside from working there, I've come up with my own type of concept and own type of like artistic expression that I would want to put into a black owned coffee shop that I would like to franchise out as well. So that's something that I want to do. And again, also something that can go under my PR firm, right? Like, obviously, the coffee shop is going to need um, press, is going to need um, a, legal, a legal team, all of that. It'll have all of that under. Um, they're shoveling outside. Under my um, empire. So that's something else that I'll be able to go under there. And then I lastly put philanthropy. So... I've done like a lot of community stuff so far, but I want to be able to do even more um, where I'm able to give back, um, do food drives, clothes drives, different things like that. I even want to come up somehow with a homeless to employed program where I'm able to um, reach out to different shelters and 
get people into drug programs and help find people educational opportunities and jobs as well. Um, that's just, I don't know exactly what made me want to do that, but that's just something that I've kind of thought about, um, I guess community wise, like where I grew up, it wasn't the best, um, place to grow up and I've seen a lot of stuff and children's lives can be affected by things like that and I think that's really kind of the reason it's like it's not necessarily because of the uh, forgive me for saying this but it's not necessarily for the adult that's going through it but it's for what may follow you know what I mean like whether or not that kid I mean if that adult has a kid at the moment that's possibility that they could have a child at some point or they might have children, or there might be pe children that were affected by it, whether it's niece, nephew, whatever the situation is. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I guess I am kind of passionate about um, different things like that because of what I've seen growing up and how I know it can affect the lives of the children that grow up around it. Um, and then, so for my degrees and certificates that I want to get this year, so I'm supposed to be getting my, uh, well, right now I'm, enrolls in a certificate program for my paralegal degree my well my paralegal certificate from Nassau Community College but I just got my associates from Nassau Community College over the summer um I think I'm gonna wind up trying to change that into the associate pro the associate degree instead because I was only missing I would only be missing two classes um one is a science class and one is another another paralegal class so I have to take a science class at FIT anyway. So it only makes sense for me to be like, you know what? Hey, let me just transfer that science class that I'm taking at FIT over to Nassau and then take the extra class and get the associates rather than just getting a certificate since I'm only missing two things anyway. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So it's my associates in paralegal studies and then my bachelor's in advertising, marketing, communications from FIT. Now, this is what I mean when I say that I'm kind of like, I'm stretching myself and overextending myself a little bit because I'm doing both programs at the same time and I'm paying out of pocket. So I'm taking a full load of classes at both schools. Most of it is remote and online except for my science class. Um, so like, I'm really good at my at time management. It's just sometimes I do procrastinate and it kind of messes up my what I've managed, if that makes sense. I just have to learn how to stay focused and get it done, get it out the way. So that's that. And then I also want to get my bartending license. And the reason why I want to get my bartending license, though, is because I realized, like, when I'm gone to clubs, bars, whatever the case may be, a lot of those bartenders and stuff, they make a lot of money just based off of, like, tips and stuff like that. Um, and that's just something that I would be able to do, like, going forward so I don't have to be working for $14 an hour part-time, whatever the case may be, to help push myself through school and to save money and all this stuff because I am trying to also save money for my franchise. So I don't want to have to do that, right? So if I'm able to get my bartending license and then bartend or whatever, like a couple nights out of the week or even like on the weekends and make more than I would be making working a part-time job, $14 an hour, I would prefer to do that. And then lastly, um, I want to read one book a month. So right now, because I got a book for Christmas and I also have a book, I got to find it. I don't know where I put it. It's like, it's something about the legal system. Um, and I don't remember the name of it, but I gotta. That, I think that's gonna be the second book that I read. But the book that I'm gonna try to read this month is a book called Woman Evolve by Sarah Jakes Roberts, and I'll update y'all on, you know, how that's going. But um, yeah. So I don't want to make this video too long because I just been speaking right now for 15 minutes, and I have like an intro and all this other extra stuff. So yeah, that's what I wanna do. Um, those are my goals for 2022, and I hope that you guys um, also have goals for 2022, and I would love for you guys to share them with me. Like, you can go ahead and you can um, post it in the comment section below. Um, also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I will be doing a giveaway.
soon. I don't know exactly what it's going to be or what the instructions are going to be. And I'll include all of that at some point. But I'm going to be doing a giveaway soon. And I'm pretty sure that the way that I'm going to do it is like, um, it's going to be based off of me getting to a thousand followers. So when I get a little bit closer, when I get to like 900 followers or so, then I'll start posting the instructions and stuff for how you can enter the giveaway and what the giveaway prize is going to be. Anyway, thank you for listening to me rant on about what I want out of life. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video, like comment and subscribe and I love y'all. And you know, I don't have a lot of followers or subscribers or whatever the case may be. But for those of you that have subscribed and actually watched my videos, I actually do love y'all and I love the support because whether you know it or not, you're helping someone get to their goals. So if you're also a very motivated person and you're like me, let's talk, let's chat, hit me up on Instagram. I do respond. If it's about something important, um, military related stuff or just advice on whatever the case is. So, yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.